Good day, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, today, we are going to talk about confidence intervals of proportions with small sample. So I'll share my screen with you. During an economic downturn, 20 companies were sampled and asked whether they were planning to increase their workforce. Only three of the 20 companies were planning to increase their workforce. Use the small sample method to construct a 98% confidence interval for the proportion of companies that are planning to increase their workforce. Here, n is equal to 20 sample size. P hat is the proportion of companies who are willing to hire is three out of 20 is 0.15. N times P hat is 20 times 0.15 is three, and that is less than 10. While N times one minus P hat is 20 multiplied by one minus 0.15 or 0.85, which is 17, which is greater than 10. Since the, since the number in each category is not 10, each category n times p hat means number of successes and n times one minus p hat means number of failures, okay? <clears throat> since the number in each category is not 10, we saw n times p hat is three, which is less than 10. We use a correction factor. This adjusted samples proportion is P hat is equal to X plus two divided by N plus four. So we adjust the number of successes, increase it by two and the sample size by four. This is because we adjust the success by two, number of success as well as number of failures by two. So P hat now becomes X was initially three, three plus two divided by 20 plus four, N was 20. So now it is five over 24 and it is 0 0.208, okay? <clears throat> the confidence interval for population proportion now becomes, okay? The lower limit is P hat minus Z alpha by two times square root of P hat times one minus P hat divided by N plus four, and the upper bound is P hat plus Z alpha by two times square root of P hat times one minus P hat divided by N plus four. The quantity inside the square root, square root of P hat times one minus P hat divided by N plus four is actually the standard error or it is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of P hat. And Z alpha by two is the critical value of Z for a particular level of confidence. Now we have to find out the 98% confidence interval for the population proportion. So our C level is 0.98. C stands for confidence level. If C is 0.98, then one minus alpha is 0.98, where alpha is the level of significance. What is level of significance? This is the maximum probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true, okay? That is the maximum probability of making a wrong decision, okay? So level of significance alpha is, we solve from the equation one minus alpha equal to 0.98, then alpha is 0 0.02, okay? Now, <laughs> the level of significance is divided into two equal parts in two tails. So we take alpha 0 0.02 and divide it into two equal parts, 0 0.02 divided by two is 0 0.01. So area of the shaded portion in the left tail and in the right tail, both are equal to 0 0.01. What is the shaded portion? This is where most probably the population proportion will not fall. While the unshaded region in the center is where the population proportion will fall, okay? So uh, alpha is 0 0.01. Next, we need to find out the critical values of Z, which separates the most probable region, which is in the center, the unshaded portion, from the least probable region, which is in the tail. How do we do that? We know the area in the left tail is 0 0.01, okay? 
So we go use TI-84, we do press the second button, then verse, then we scroll down to in norm, which is number three. Okay, when we align the cursor with in norm, we hit enter, it is asking for area, which is the area in left tail, area in each tail is 0 0.01. Mu is zero, sigma is one, because we are working with a standard normal curve whose mean is zero, standard deviation is one. We bring the cursor down on pest and hit enter and enter. And we get the critical value of Z and the left tail is minus 2.326. Since the standard normal curve is symmetric, the value of the critical value of Z on the right tail is positive 2.326 because we are on the right hand side of the mean, which is at zero at the center on the horizontal axis. Now we need to calculate sigma p hat, which is a standard error or standard deviation of the sampling distribution of p hat. So sigma p hat is given by square root of p hat multiplied by one minus p hat divided by n plus four. So we go to our calculator, press the second button on the top left, then excess square, which is in the first column on the left, Inside the square root, we will type 0 0.208 for p hat. And then we put the left parenthesis one, inside the left parenthesis one minus 0 0.208, the right parenthesis divided by 20 plus four is 24. And we hit enter. And the answer is 0 0.0828, okay? So, what are the lower what is what are the two boundaries of the confidence interval it is the lower boundary is uh, p hat which is 0 0.208 minus the critical value of z which is 2.326 times the standard error which is 0 0.0828 and the upper bound for the confidence interval is 0 0.208 plus 2.326 times 0 0.0828 so when we do the calculations correctly, like we for the left boundary, we will do 0 0.208 in our calculator minus 2.326 times multiplication 0 0.0828. And the answer is 0 0.0154. Similarly, for the right boundary, we do 0 0.208 plus 2.326 multiplied by 0 0.0828, and that is 0 0.4, okay? So with 98% confidence, we can state that the actual population proportion will fall between 0 0.0154 and 0 0.4. I will stop here today. If you have any question, write me a, a note and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button on the bottom right corner. I come back next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.